In the realm of dreams, impossibility is merely a temporary illusion. In a land where myths and legends were woven into the fabric of everyday life, there lived a young warrior named Kael. He was known far and wide for his unwavering courage, his indomitable spirit, and his unyielding belief that anything was possible. Kael had grown up listening to tales of heroes who had achieved the impossible. And those stories had instilled in him a deep-seated conviction that the boundaries of reality were not as rigid as they seemed. One day, a dark shadow cast its pall over the kingdom. A fearsome dragon, its scales as black as midnight, descended from the mountains and set its sights on the heart of the realm. The people were filled with dread, for this dragon was unlike any they had ever encountered. Its fiery breath could melt stone, and its raw scent tremors through the earth. The king, desperate to protect his kingdom, called upon Kael to face the dragon. Kael's heart swelled with a mixture of trepidation and determination. He knew the odds were stacked against him. But he also knew that legends were born from the crucible of adversity. As Kael set out on his quest, he found himself in a dense forest shrouded in mist the air was heavy with an otherworldly energy. And he knew that he had entered the realm of dreams, a place where reality intertwined with imagination. Here, the rules of the physical world were malleable. And the possible was limited only by the depths of one's belief. Guided by an ethereal light, Kael ventured deeper into the dream realm. He encountered mystical creatures, each offering cryptic advice and riddles. He solved them all, proving his wit was as sharp as his blade. Along his journey, he met a wise old sage who spoke of the dragon's vulnerability, a single scale on its underbelly. That remained unguarded. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Kael pressed on. He faced trials that tested his courage and conviction. He crossed chasms that seemed bottomless, climbed mountains that scraped the heavens, and swam through seas that whispered forgotten secrets. Every challenge seemed insurmountable, but Kael's unshakable belief in the realm of dreams fueled his determination. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Kael stood before the lair of the black-scaled dragon. The creature's eyes burned with a fierce intensity, and its wings stretched wide like the canopy of a starless night. Without hesitation, Kael charged, evading torrents of flame and sidestepping colossal swipes of its claws. In a climactic battle that reverberated through the dream realm. Kael managed to breach the dragon's defenses and strike the vulnerable scale on its underbelly. The dragon's roar shook the very foundations of the dream realm. But it fell, defeated, as its form dissipated like mist. Kael felt the dream realm itself acknowledge his triumph. With the dragon's defeat, the shadows that had shrouded the kingdom lifted, and the land was bathed in a newfound light. Kael returned to the waking world, hailed as a hero, but he carried with him a truth that extended beyond the boundaries of reality. In the realm of dreams, impossibility is merely a temporary illusion. Kael's journey had taught him that the limits we perceive in the waking world are but constructs of our minds, with the unwavering belief in the boundless potential of the human spirit. The realm of dreams could be brought to life. And so, Kale's legacy lived on. A testament to the fact that the greatest battles are not fought with swords and fire. But with the unyielding power of the dreamer's heart.